you have my heart And we'll never be worlds apart Maybe in magazines But you'll still be my star Baby, cause in the dark You can't see shiny cars That's when you need me there With you I'll always share Because when the sun shines, we shine together Told you I'll be here forever Said I'll always be a friend Took an oath, I'm stick it out to the end Now that it's raining more than ever Know that we still have each other You can stand under my umbrella You can stand under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, eh, 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 eh. Back in primary school, people told me I could sing. I, they were all lying, uh, but I guess the encouragement that they give me kind of motivated me to continue on this path. Hi, I'm Jason Yu and I'm a singer songwriter here in Singapore and I've been doing this for about six years now. Back in primary school, my favourite activity when I was in the school hall, like when we were doing silent reading, was just looking up at the stage and just daydreaming that I was on stage singing like my favourite song at the time. Back in primary school, people told me I could sing. I, they were all lying, looking back uh, at all the videos I had. Uh, but I guess the encouragement that they gave me kind of motivated me to continue on this path. I just continued doing it without knowing what I was doing because it was fun. Eventually, I did do a Bachelor of Music for my uni actually, uh, and that provided an environment for me to try to get more serious into my craft. I think in Singapore, it's just not very common for people to want to pursue music very seriously. Um, but that's why being in uni was such a great thing because like everyone around you was a musician for me. In 2018, I put out my first single Hearts release on streaming platforms. It's a love song. It's simply a song about having a crush and encouraging myself as well as other people to be honest with their feelings and just let it go. Back then, I didn't have any songs released. I was very heavily inspired by one of my musical idols, Ed Sheeran. Wanted to write something that kind of had his vibe. I was still like finding out what kind of artist I was, I am. You know, like being in this industry is difficult. Well, there's a lot of things I'm grateful for, but there are things I struggle with, like being good enough. How am I supposed to find an audience in Singapore or in the world? I struggle a lot with comparison, I think. There are many, many talented acts in Singapore and the world. It's so difficult for everyone, even like the most talented people. So a lot of times I think like, how am I supposed to like fare and survive? I like to believe that uh, if I'm honest and authentic with my music, that I will be able to find an audience. I think the things that leave the biggest impression on me are when uh, I realize I have like some hardcore fans. But sometimes I like catch stories of them sharing uh, my work, my music. Like just recently, I reposted like a story uh, of a fan and then they had like a photo of me on their table. So uh, I think that's very humbling. Like I never imagined that to happen. Uh, it's just comforting to know that there are people that do support me. What's most important for me is to create uh, art that is authentic to me and to create something that I'm proud of. I think that's what's most important. And I feel like if I like what I put out enough, there should be other people like that who have the same taste as me who like my work. I think the most important thing for an artist is to just love what they put out. The songs I write are my own experiences. I want these songs to be able to resonate with people, for them to you know, feel as much as I felt when I wrote these songs and possibly to also let these songs help them with grief, sadness, or even like to celebrate. So my latest single, If I Had It All, is basically a reflection of how I was feeling at the time, the struggles I've gone through, and questioning if I really did have it all, would I feel any different? I was just unsure of the direction I'm going towards, and I just feel very sien la. I'm writing about that sienness, I guess. If I Had It All is a very honest reflection of my headspace. I think, you know, with people getting on TikTok and Instagram, right, it's uh, gotten like a lot of locals to be more interested in local music actually. So my hopes for the local music industry here in Singapore is to just keep on growing. Uh, I think uh, there's a lot of amazing talents here in Singapore, a lot of local talent that um, people need to start learning about 
and I hope somehow with uh, all the different works that local artists put out, we can encourage the sentiment of local audience to change and to appreciate what we have here in Singapore even more. It's been a while since I've started Knowing you where I wanna be Everybody keeps asking me What are you doing every day? You've got no time to play Tell me have I made a mistake? I've been feeling So uninspired And I'm getting tired If I had it all I had it all I keep on watching the days go by Wasting time chasing a lie In my mind, I've had it If I had it all Would things be different? If I had it all Would I still feel what I feel? I keep on watching the days go by Wasting time chasing a lie in my mind